So, uh, apparently, <laughs> sorry, it's hard to take this seriously. Um, apparently, uh, Mary Poppins is racist now. Being a chimney sweep and getting your face covered in soot is uh, racist and akin to blackface, clearly racist. Um, I can't believe this. This is absolutely crazy. It seems to be that it's a, across a, a bunch of news uh, news platforms. So uh, there's uh, it's on news.com, it's on Metro, it's on um, The Standard, The Sun, uh, The Independent, on all the, all the news stories as of yesterday. I'm just going to read the article um, and go through the exact details of it because I'm in disbelief. I'm in disbelief. Let's just let's just read it. Um, so, um, because of Mary Poppins, so Julie Andrews, famous chimney sweep seen in Disney's Mary Poppins, uh, has bizarrely been branded as racist uh, by a U.S. academic. Uh, let's see who this person is. Uh, Professor Daniel Pollock Pelsner accuses much-loved movie dame of blacking up. <laughs> Already covered with soot, she dances alongside Dick Van Dyke. The iconic scene accompanies to the tune of Step in Time is one of the best love moments in the 1964 Osterwingian classic, The Sun Reports. However, writing in the New York Times under the headline Mary Poppins and a nanny's shameful flirting with blackface, the, prof <laughs> the professor reveals he is not a fan. Um... He writes, her face gets covered with soot, but instead of wiping off, she gamely powders her nose and cheeks to get even blacker. The English gender studies professor... Gender studies... There we go. Gender studies. Oh, my goodness. An academic, this is. The, or, well, they're calling this person an academic from gender studies. I mean, when was gender studies ever academic? I mean, look at the state of it at the moment. Um, you know, we're going against biology and now we're going against common sense as well. Like, where does this end, honestly? The the tone of this article is just, it's none too familiar, is it? I mean, are they saying that white people getting dirty mate, is racist? So, they, are they, I mean, if you can't tell the difference between someone that's black and someone that's dirty, I think that's the problem. <laughs> that's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh my goodness, seriously, what what is going on in the world? You don't need to be a, a gender studies student to smell out the daffy absurdity of this kind of argument, do we? Are they suggesting that only black people can sweep chimneys? Like, is that is that like the level of what they expect black people to amount to? Is that, I mean... T <laughs> It sounds like a racist calling someone racist. It's a bit weird. I don't know, what, what are you asking, really? Chim chim churu, eh? Yeah, I think you've got to ask yourself, why has this happened? So, uh, Professor Pollock, uh, this is a message for you. You know, if you're trying so desperately hard to not be racist, is there a point that you get to where you've overshot the mark and it becomes kind of racist you know if you can't tell the difference between someone who's black and someone's got a dirty face i'd say that was pretty racist uh maybe think about that because yeah take some time there i don't know comment below do you do you think do you think there's some racism in there um let me know below um if you think all chimney sweeps are racist let me know. Uh, maybe I should rethink my profession. So in case you're a student at Oregon's Linfield College, take it from me, I'm just cleaning someone's chimney. Uh, there's no motive behind it. Chimneys need sweeping. Happens once a year, sometimes twice. Um, sorry.